You know, they should be a jewel for Detroit public schools, but for the last 10 years, they've been more of a joke. We're talking about that multi million dollar TV studio that barely any students have been able to use. But tonight is progress finally being made. Seven investigator Ross Jones is here now with the latest. Ross, what's uh, going on? It's taken us three superintendents, four emergency managers just to get this far, but finally, the studios are open to at least some students. When you talk about waiting a decade, you're waiting the entire uh, educational uh, term. Detroit School Board member Lamar Lemons is talking about the district's $30 million studios that have sat virtually unused since opening 10 years ago. They're filled with first-class equipment, eight high-definition studio cameras costing $200,000 each, video switchers like these in two control rooms that ran at least seven hundred grand apiece, and this lighting grid, it cost another million. The equipment made DSA Studios some of the best in the world. Problem is, virtually no classes have ever been able to use them. District officials blamed their predecessors, saying the studios were built without a curriculum, the equipment was too sophisticated, and they didn't have the money to train instructors. Meanwhile, students walked by the locked studios, wondering what's inside. Do, do they ever talk about why the equipment's locked away? No, they never talked about it. You just can't use it. Yeah, it's just a side of the school that we don't use, but we know it's there. When we first reported this story back in February, district officials said progress was finally being made. A DPS spokeswoman said that by March, instructors would be taught how to work the classrooms and classes could start using them. So now, more than three months later, did that ever happen? Sort of. DPS wouldn't agree to an interview for this story, but told us the teachers and select students started receiving training on the equipment back in March. In a statement, they said in part, DSA instructional staff have begun working the functioning studio into their lesson plans and will do so more fully for the coming school year. Lamar Lemons acknowledges the district is finally showing progress, but says students who came to DSA for the studios and taxpayers who paid for them deserve classrooms that are fully up and running. We're talking about multi-generational children being deprived of what the taxpayers have already paid for. So the smaller of the two studios is expected to be fully operational by the fall, but the much larger one and its multi-million dollar control room, well, the district has no plans on getting them running. They say they need much more work and will cost much more money than they'd like to spend. Wow, at least they're doing something because that equipment is amazing, amazing. as you it's, said. It's nicer than what we have it's, right it here. It rivals so what we have. Somebody's got to be using this, and finally some kids are. Thank, Thank goodness. Thank you, Ross. Sure. All right.